G'day guys, welcome back. Hope you can hear me okay. I'm in my kitchen because as you guys know my studio's out of action for the next oh, probably a couple of months, six to eight weeks I guess. So I'm in the kitchen on my island bench. Now do you guys remember when I used my instant mold to make that um, holographic bowl. Well, I've made some more rings. I've placed this one down, so I'm not going to pick it up because it's all measured out and everything. Um, this is the 50 centimetre diameter one. So, um, about 20 inches for that one across the centre. Uh, and this, I made, I've made quite a few. This is the 40 centimetre one. So this is what they look like. <laughs> if you do decide to buy one, this is what they look like. It's a silicone ring and you can basically put it whatever shape you want it and pour on it. I shouldn't move that because I had that in the right spot. So anyway, this is the 40 centimetre. I'm using the 50 and then I've also got the 60, which is the big, the big daddy. I won't put him out, but <laughs> that's him. He's the big one. Whoa, oh my gosh, now I've moved it. Right, I'm gonna have to do that again. So let me pop these back. So basically what, what you do is, I'll put them in the bags later. Uh, what you do is you get a piece of plastic. This is a nice, um, this is actually, I went and asked when I was at Bunnings, you know that table, it's like a tablecloth plastic and it comes on big rolls. This is 0.3 of a mil, 0.3 of a millimetre, that one. And um, I just, it comes in a big, big roll, big width. So I just ordered like a metre and um, just, and then all you do is you just place it down in the shape you want on your plastic and it pretty much holds it there. It's, it's pretty good. Now from your angle, I know it looks as if I've got more room down here than up here, but it's just because you're looking on an angle, not straight down. But look, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a bowl. So it doesn't have to be, um, yeah, it's a free form bowl. So it doesn't have to be exact, exact, but I'll show you, see how you can, I'm just gonna hold that there. See how you can pick the plastic up and the mold stays in place. You can actually pick the mold up here by the mould itself, it's, it stays. So, but anyway, once you've got it in place, push it down, and I've just moved it again. Right, I am going to, now, oh, this is the other thing. I've got so much to tell you today. This is the placemat that I bought on eBay. They come in different colours and different designs, but this is the silver one that I, I'm gonna use. So that's, that's actually staying in my, um, bowl today. I have used a placemat before. Do you remember that one where I put all the different colours in? It took me a while. It was blues and turquoises, I think. And I actually put coloured resin in all the little gaps. But today I'm going to pour clear over the top. I'm going to put some black. Okay, actually, I'll do that now. I'm going to put some black crushed glass around the edges. Like so. I haven't taped it down. Um, when you do buy your plastic, make sure you tell them not to bend it because um, it's really hard to get the creases out. Actually, I should pour more carefully. <laughs> I'm getting bits of glass on here. It's this one here. Um, there, yeah, just black crushed glass. So I'm just gonna put some of that around the edges. But yeah, I haven't taped it down yet. Um, I may do, I might put the resin on and then pull it tight and stick it down because there's like a little bump there. So I'm going to pull that tight and then stick it down with some tape. So I'm going to do this. You can put, I mean, you don't have to put any glass or anything around the outside, but I thought black would look nice, black and silver. And I'm going to put a little bit of my alcohol ink just around the edge, and then the middle will be clear. So maybe a little bit of this will kind of bleed in, which will be fine. So I hope I don't use too much of my <laughs> crushed glass. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to mix up my resin. For this particular size, I'm going to make up 750 grams of mixed resin, which is three cups for this um, 50 centimeter piece. I'm just going to push that into the edges. 
like that and then it can kind of drift out a little bit anyway. But I just want to make sure that I've got a good covering on the edges. So um, I'll just get a bit of tape and pick up these little pieces that I've dropped in the center. Look, my, they may all kind of wash over the top anyway. I, I don't know, I've never done this before. But um, I'm gonna mix up my resin and then once it's mixed, um, I'll come back to you for the next stage. Now I haven't tested this before, so yeah, hopefully it will hold the resin. <laughs> Otherwise I'm gonna have to lug my kitchen bench, but no, I feel confident that it'll work. Right, I'll mix up my resin and I will be back. Right, so I've mixed up my resin. I, uh, I set my timer for four minutes and I had two cups equal and then I stirred like this because I'm not very good stirring with my left hand and I swapped them over and then I stirred again. I did this every minute and then after the timer went off, I concentrated on one of them for another minute. And wipe the sides down. So that's what we've got. So there's a cup and a half in each. Righto, so the first thing I want to do is, I want to put some in here. Now while I was stirring, I was thinking to myself, how am I going to put the black on without it like pushing the stones forward? And I don't think I'm going to be able to, I think it's just going to push forward regardless. So I'll just do it carefully. Right, so I've just got the black alcohol ink. Let's just try that. I don't want to put too much in. I just want a hint of, of black. Oh, it smells bad. Who thinks alcohol ink smells bad? <laughs> oh gosh. Maybe it's just me. All right, now it looks quite dark in there, doesn't it? That's because it's deep. So just to test it, put a little bit out onto some paper towel and then you can have a look and see if that's the colour that you are happy with. I think I'll do one more drop. Because it looks very different in the cup, doesn't it? So always just test it on something. I mean, it's going to get darker than that because it's going to be in there. It's probably going to be about maybe four millimetres deep. And I'm not sure if I've got enough black in here. I've only got like half a cup, but I can always make up more. It's not a problem. I just don't want it to overtake. I just want the edges to be black. Mm -hmm. Do I do one more? No, let's, let's leave it at that because the stones are quite black. So I don't want it to be black, 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 black. Right, oh. I've got to be very careful here not to get any resin on my kitchen bench. I've got puppy piddle pads down. I've got paper towel everywhere. Okay, here we go, you guys. I'm just going to start. Cross your fingers for me that it all holds. <laughs> I don't want any resin flowing under my instant mold. I'm just going to put a little bit around here first. All the way around. Try not to spill out of the mold. <laughs> I always seem to do that. It's like colouring inside the lines, isn't it? You've got to pour inside your mould. Like that. Alright, so that's one, well it's half a cup out. And look, I haven't disrupted my stones. So that was good. If I did, I can just sort of, you know, push them back in again. Now it's going to look all the way round. Oh look, no leaks. It's a stray pebble though, a little bit of glass. No leaks. Wasn't expecting any leaks, but you know, it's always good to double check. All right, so that's the color it'll be. So hopefully it will just kind of run into there. I'm, I'm not gonna make any more black just at the moment. Um, I'll keep that. I wanna see what it's gonna look like once I start adding my clear and how much that black is actually going to um, you know, pull from the outside in. I don't mind if it comes in a little bit, but I want basically to be clear. All right, so here we go. So this is the Platinum Ultra Clear. Um, it has a long working time. 
I'm just wondering if I should stick this down yet. No, we'll see. It has a long working time. Um, shall I just, where's my, where's my alcohol spray? Nothing's where it used to be. Everything's moved. I waited till my husband went back to work before I took over the kitchen with all my resin stuff. I just spray that with my 100% alcohol because it's got lots of little grooves in there. It helps if you just pour into one spot and let the resin run out as well, especially on something like this that's got lots of little intricate patterns and things that bubbles could potentially get caught into. So be very careful that I clean up as I go these this today. <laughs> Alright, so that's the first cup gone. Gone skis. Alright. Let's do the next one. Turn that flame down a bit. These are good because you've got a little control on the side there that you can control your flame. Now, um, obviously I don't want the stone sticking up higher than the resin, so I may push some down. But we'll see how we go. And we'll see how the... Um, if I've got enough here. I'm hoping that my kitchen island bench is level because I haven't actually leveled it. If this, if this is a board underneath, so if I have to, I can prop one side up. I should actually go and get the level, shouldn't I? All right, let's just pour the rest of this out. There we go. So that's that's the um, that's three cups. I might even have to make up some more. Let's, we'll have a look and see what it does once it's all leveled out. I'll use my little black stick. Oh no, it's dripped. Use my little black stick just to smooth these edge ones down because like I said, I don't want them, I don't really want them sticking up higher than the resin. So oh, ah, I stuck my finger in it. This is why I've got gloves on, hey? So I'm just gonna smooth this outer edge, make it a bit thinner, and maybe push them, the little stones, further in, because I'm happy with them sort of touching that placemat. got to be really careful not to, um, you know, dislodge your mould, of course. Don't touch your mould. Once it's down, don't touch it. Your instant mould. All right, how's that looking? Now, it doesn't matter if you've got some of your rocks that are sticking out. You know, you can use bigger ones and actually have like a chunky look around the outside. I was actually going to put in some, um, I've got some clear chunky, like, acrylic crystal type things. Um, they are packed away but I could, I could get them and it'll just give you like a different dimension like put some thick ones you know on the edge. Just sort of bringing some of these in a little bit so it doesn't look as if there's a definite line there. Just kind of make a more natural looking edge there. How's that looking so far? I don't know that we can really see the, the black alcohol ink, but maybe once it's sort of demolded and shaped, we'll be able to see it then. So I'm just going to leave it like that for a minute. Be really careful of torching. Just a little quick torch. The Platinum Ultra Clear is a very thin resin, so the bubbles, um, there's, it's very good bubble release on thin resin, so they will come up to the surface and most likely pop on their own. Um, I don't want to spray 
This is going to be my outside, okay? What you can see is going to be the outside of the bowl. So I don't want to spray any alcohol on it because I feel that sometimes you can see the droplets of alcohol and you get like this, um, kind of looks like water droplets on your resin. So I don't mind doing it if it's going to be the bottom of my piece, but if it's going to be the top, I definitely don't want to spray alcohol on it. Now that's just me. But, you know, you guys do what you want to do. All right, I'm going to have a little... Just a little more play with that. I won't bore you. I'm just going to make sure all the little rocks are covered. Now, I should see how thick that is, actually. Where's my little, my little thingy? Oops, I'm dropping everything. I broke the, I cut this pop stick off and I wrote 7 mil on it, but it's got a mil of resin stuck on there. I'm just going to have a little look. Okay, so that's, it's, I don't know if you can see that, it's halfway up, so I think that'll be thick enough. I, I don't want to make it too thick and chunky, I'd rather it to be quite delicate. So that's it for me now, I'm just going to give it another little torch um, and double check that all my little stones are pushed in. Yeah, um, I, don't know, I don't know how much of the black's going to show up along the edge. But look, I just wanted a hint of black with the black stones. I didn't want it to like all be rushing in. You know, if you put too much in, like see over there, it's kind of bleeding in a little bit. I didn't want it all like rushing into the middle. I just wanted a touch. So I think it's, I think it will be fine. Now I'm going to set my timer for five hours and um, I will be back to check it in five hours. Right, so I checked it at the five hour mark and it was still really soft, like it was, like when I stuck a pin in it, it had that little train thing that came up afterwards. So I can touch it now, but it is leaving a tiny little mark. So if I leave a little mark, I'll just quickly torch it again to sort of melt it again. Um, I'm going to see if how it goes. I don't want to leave it too long because then, you know, it's not going to drape so let's get let's see if we can get this off oh look it comes off nice and easily I'm gonna be careful not to ah, drop it in there she says as she almost drops it in there so look at that it's done its job beautifully and we'll put that aside and we can use that again now i am going to pick this up and i'm going to take it over there I've got a stand on my on my floor over in the kitchen, so I'm going to take you over there and then I'll show you what I'm doing because I can't hold that and hold the camera at the same time. All right, so I'm just going to like drape it over and let it fall. And I can see, you know, where the center is because of that there. So what I'm going to do now is kind of scrunch the edges. All right, I've played with it for a little while and um, I've put some tape on. The good thing about having the stand there, of course, is I can tape it to the stand where I want it to uh, and then, you know, tape these across to keep them sort of together. Um, I am a little bit concerned that I've taken it off maybe half an hour earlier because I'm getting a tiny little bit of drippage hopefully it won't be too bad it's it's tough you know it's hard trying to work out exactly how long to leave it the, see the weight of the stones in there is probably also kind of dragging the resin down but that's what I've got it looking like at the moment. I had to be careful that these didn't touch each other. I might have to pull that apart a little bit, like just release this tape a bit just so that they're not pulling together too much because I don't want them touching there and, and sticking. And of course I've packed most of my bottles and things that I would use to pop inside. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it so far. It's, I think it's looking really good as long as it doesn't drop. And um, I'll come back to you tomorrow and uh, unmold it. See you then. Right, guys, it's the next day. <laughs> I've just taken it 
and put it here so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, I put this fruit tin on top. I just got a piece of plastic, put it like that, and then the tin sat on there overnight just to give a nice flat bottom. Radio. So, I should be able to just, with any luck, get this out. Hey, let's get the tape off first. Keep these. I can reuse most of these, I think. Little bits of tape. So, I ended up putting just a few of my little paper mixing cups that I use for my resin in a few areas just to stop it all collapsing in on itself. I should have started this before, shouldn't I? It's a big clump of tape. I can't keep that one. Sometimes it's just too much trouble trying to pull them all apart, isn't it? I'll keep what I can keep. Alrighty, I'll keep my cups, that's for sure. Now, the other thing. You know how I said to you I'm hoping that it doesn't run? But there has been a couple of areas there, or a few areas, where the resin has run. And I thought I would really hate it if it ran, but um, it's actually looking quite nice. I actually really like it. And I'm not just saying that because, because I am, but I do actually really like that look of having that sort of scalloped edge. It kind of looks like lace. So we'll see what it looks like once it's out. Oops, there's a bit of... Is it, oh gosh, that bit of resin there is stuck on my tape. Hopefully I can get that out. Radio. Nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Right. Last bit of tape, I think. Now I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can reuse the plastic as well. Let's pull this out. Now this is it's just um it's just a leg. From a table like you would screw it up underneath your table and it came in like shorter sizes and thinner sizes but that's the one I I chose just from Bunnings my local hardware store um, and yeah, it makes a really good stand so oh look 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 all right now the only tricky bit is I think because oh look it stands up let's just leave it like that with the plastic on it <laughs> um, Oh gosh, these bits are touching a little bit there. That's okay, I can still get my finger in there. Now, I hope I can get the plastic off because, do it this way because I'm right handed. So it'll just take me a little while, you guys. Bear with me. Sometimes it's easier maybe to take the plastic off before it's totally set up hard because then it's still got a bit of bend in it. Whether or not I can use the plastic again, I, I don't know. I'll try and be careful with it. See these bits, are really, I think because these bits are really close together here. I kind of need someone to hold that open. Can someone hold that open? And then I'll just pull this down like that. That's all right. I can do it. It's just going to be a little bit tricky. I'm going to pull all these into the center. This one again, I'm going to have to kind of hold it open. This is why it's good. I've got a little tiny bit of bend in my resin still, so I can kind of move that a touch. So that's good. So I'm just going to... Pull all that down. I did scrunch them a lot, like, you know, I really scrunched it together. So, probably making things a little bit more difficult for me because I've got so many folds to pull out. But hopefully, I can do it. Now, what do I do with it now that I've got it all into the middle? <laughs> I'm going to need to actually just hold this against, I'm just going to have to hold it against my body, hang on, I'm just going to take, pause you for a minute while I hang on to it against my chest and then I can pull the centre out. Right, <laughs> that wasn't too hard at all, I just held it to my chest and, and just got my hands in under here and sort of pulled each one down like so. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, what does it look like? Can 
I use it again? I'm more worried about the plastic than I am with the bars. I reckon, like it's not damaged, it's just crinkled. I think if I had to drop this into a sink full of hot water um, and then lay it flat, I'm going to try that because I don't think heating it, heating it with a hairdryer or a blow, blow, blow torch or anything like that will work. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to pop that <clears throat> in um, a sink of hot water and see if I can get it to straighten out again. Because, you know, I, there's no reason why I can't use it again. Let's have a look at this gorgeous creature. Hang on, I'm going to bring you down here next to me. Hang on, hang on one little sec. Alrighty, I got my lovely background. It's um, it's just a piece of um, like card. <laughs> I've got a few different colours just to make my background look a bit nicer rather than messy. All right, oh, knock the tripod. Oh, it's quite heavy. All right, let's have a little look. Let's have a close look. Now look at those scalloped edges. See across the back there? That's where it's dropped. And I actually really like it. Don't you think? just looks so pretty and it, it looks natural because it's got this this curve like I couldn't do that if I tried <laughs> I'm trying to get that curve all right let's have a look from the outside and you can see where it's it's dropped a little bit I could have I should have should have waited another half an hour but because I wanted to do so many folds in it I thought if I let it set too much I'm not going to be able to get that you know how normally when you see people do them they've just got like probably five big folds in it which is nice as well and I've done that before but I really wanted to have more folds in it this time that's what the middle looks like it's really pretty now you could use that definitely as a vase you could put water in it you could put some flowers in it you could just put a little, um, you know, one of those little battery operated tea lights in it and the light would just shine through all these gorgeous little lines, these silver lines. I don't know what you call those, but oh, it's so pretty. Let me know what you think of this one, you guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. These, are, yeah, they're not as easy to do as one would think, but, you know, the whole test of this thing this video was testing my instant mold so and it worked beautifully so and I can use it again of course um, I'll move that out of the way this is it here I'll show you a close-up of it see that's all it is and there's no join in it it's just one big piece so you don't have to worry about leaks and um, if you've got any resin little bits on it just clean it off you can wash it in some warm soapy water let it dry um, and it'll be sticky again so you can stick it down onto your next bit of plastic uh, I do have something else in mind that I want to do for my next video I want it to kind of look like um, stained glass and I'm going to use a bigger instant mold with that one so check out that video hit my little subscribe button if you haven't already and um, you'll be notified when I put that video up oh I love it so excited <laughs> turned out so well all right thanks again for watching you guys Hope you've enjoyed my video and uh, I'll see you real soon for the next one. Okay, bye for now.